Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2021 tutorial. This one, I'm going to show you how to create a white flash or an opacity flash transition. They're very, very commonly used. You'll especially see them in dream sequences and stuff like that. Let me show you what I'm talking about first. So I've got a, pic a video of a dog here swimming, and then I'm going to hit space bar, and bang, it goes to white. It white, and then it fades out. And then we've got another video of a puppy dog sleeping. That's a bulldog. Good looking bully. So there we go. Let me show you how to do that. It'll be very, very quick. I'm going to delete all this stuff. I'll even delete. Yeah, let's just go ahead and start from here. Okay, so the first step, as you can imagine, drag and drop in your video. I've got the videos here. And then you create a sequence. Now, I've got it cut here around a second and a half. And then another second and a half of footage at the end there. What you want to do now is you want to go to the new item under the project panel. If you don't see new item, just expand this out until you see the new item option. Left click on that and you're going to want to select color mat. When you do that, it will be automatically the exact same settings as your sequence. So I'm going to left click on OK and then you get to select the color of the of the mat. Now I'm selecting white in this version. But if you want to do a red or a blue or a green flash, you can go ahead and go nuts on that too. Bottom left corner is white. I'm going to left click on OK. It's going to go ahead and create a matte, and I'm going to call it white flash. Why not? OK, good. All right. You'll see now that it is loaded in the project panel. The next step is you want to drag and drop that, and you want to drop it onto the second video track. So it's on V2 now. And you'll also notice that I've got it half on the left side, half on the right side. So that means the, the white flash is going to go half on the first clip, half on the second clip. You can, of course, adjust that as you see fit. Also, I have it currently set up to be one second long as the transition. You can tell it's one second because it says 100 there. That is a very long transition, so I'm going to shed a little bit off. I'm going to cut her down. I'm going to cut three frames off on each side. So I'm going to cut those three frames off. I'm going to go here, then I'm going to go back one, two, three, cut those three frames off. And this is now a little less than a second, so I guess it's a three quarters of a second, so to speak. So again, this is a long transition, but this is to show you the technique. So the first step, go now to the beginning of the transition. I'm holding down the shift key, just move the playhead to the beginning of the transition. Shift key, the shift key locks it in from there. Make sure you now click on the opacity stopwatch, toggle animation on it. And what you want to do is you want to drop it down to zero. So we're on the first frame. That's my dog barking. Never mind. Now we dropped it down to zero. Go forward three frames. One, two, three. I clicked on the step forward one frame. Now increase it to 100%. So it goes from zero to 100 in three frames. Okay. And you'll see that because you'll see the right here, you're going to see the keyframe. Now I'm going to go forward to the end and I'm going to go back three frames. And at this point, I'm going to click on adjust remove keyframe. This now creates a keyframe here. This one is also at 100%. And then I'm going to go to the end of it and I'm going to drop it down to zero. So we've got a long keyframe. We've got a flash. It goes to white and then it flashes out. That is how you create it. Again, you can adjust the keyframe. So if the white, if you want it to be a little more less white in the middle, you can just go ahead and move these keyframes as I'm doing here. And let's see what this looks like. So I'm going to go right to the beginning and it goes to white and it flashes out. That's all guys. Thanks for watching. Be back soon with some more tutorials.